These motivation videos have millions of views on YouTube and they are monetized with high CPM ads. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to create viral motivational videos like this and you won't have to worry about reused content or copyright issues because we'll be using AI and other helpful tools to make original and transformative content. So follow along and let's get into it. First, you're gonna need to set up a YouTube channel. Click here and sign up using a new Gmail account. Then click create channel. Here, you'll need a channel name. You might already have one in mind. If not, we're going to head over to ChatGPT to help us come up with some names. I asked it for a YouTube channel name for a motivational channel and it gave me 20 names. This one stood out to me so I went with it, Champion Within, because we all have untapped inner strength. Now what I normally do is go to namecheck.com or a similar site and make sure the name is available on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook and has a suitable domain. You can see the .com is taken as is the Facebook and Twitter. Normally I would continue my search, but for the purposes of this video, I'll go with this name. So head back to YouTube, enter the name and handle. It looks like the handle is already taken. Most good ones are. That's okay, I'll have champion within 660 because that's what they recommend. Now create the channel. The channel is being created, so wait a few minutes and then click refresh and it should be ready. Now click customize channel, then basic info. I'm actually going to change the name to champion within 365 because it sounds better and applies all year round. Now we need to fill in a description. Type in what you want or just use ChatGPT to fill it in. This is low importance, so don't think too much about it. I'm going to copy this in there and then trim it down because it's over the word limit. You can always change it later. Click publish to save these changes. Now select branding and let's get a banner and logo. Head over to Canva and click on YouTube banner. I'm going to find a pre-made template and customize it. Again, don't overthink this. The banner is not important. Video ideas and execution is. Plus you can always change this later on. Once done, upload it to YouTube and check the size is suitable. That all looks good to me. Now head back to Canva to make a profile picture. I will search for a YouTube channel logo to get the right dimensions. Again, pick any template and customize it. This is normally quite small, so we want it to stand out. I'll use big bold letters on a dark background so it's instantly recognizable. Again, save that, upload it and then click publish. Add a watermark if you want. I'll just use the logo as the watermark, publish that to save the changes. Now, if you click view channel, you have a fancy new channel set up, congratulations. Now it's time to do the important stuff, creating a video for our channel. Head over to ChatGPT and ask it to give us some video ideas for our niche. I'll provide a detailed prompt asking for viral and inspiring ideas. Now I'm going to pick one of these ideas and ask it to create a YouTube video script. In the prompt, I'll ask it to include a hook to keep people watching and reasons they should watch. A good hook is important for audience retention, which will help your average view duration and give you a higher watch time. You need 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers to get monetized. So we want to hook people in and keep them watching for as long as possible. Now we have a script, we need to create visuals and a voiceover. Stay tuned and I'll show you two methods to create visuals and two methods to create a voiceover, one using AI and one without. You can judge the quality for yourself and pick the best method for you. Method one in creating visuals will use an AI video editor called Pictory.ai. Click on their feature called script to video then paste in your script from ChatGPT. Fill in the video name, then click proceed. Choose a video template and then an aspect ratio, then Pictory will create a video for you using stock footage. It will find the best videos to go with the script. After a few minutes, your video should be ready. You can edit the scenes on the left hand side and change the video for a scene by clicking visuals and then the video. It's all fully customizable. You can add different elements, add audio, add text, 
and change the template style. You can preview the video once you've made any changes. The good thing about Pictory is that it creates the bulk of the video for you, which will save a lot of time. You will still have to review the video and make changes to select the best clips for each scene, so this will take some time. It will never be a perfect video out the box, but it will get you started. It does have a free trial, but when that is over, you're going to have to choose one of their paid plans here. Now you could just add music, but that will be pretty boring, so you need to have a voiceover. I highly recommend you use your own voice or hire a voiceover professional because you never know if YouTube will demonetize AI voices in the future. They previously clamped down on text-to-speech voices for some channels a while ago. However, if you provide original content or content that is transformative, then it's possible you can use AI voices and get monetized. Lots of channels do use AI and are monetized, so feel free to try it. For me, using my own voice is faster and cheaper, but I may use an AI voice in the future. I'll show you how I record my voice and then I'll show you the best AI voice generator that I've come across, so stay tuned for that. First up, I'll use a free software called Audacity to record and optimize my voice. It is a desktop app, so hit download on that. While that's downloading, it's a good idea to check your mic. I use Adobe's free mic check tool. You can Google it or you can find it on podcast.adobe.com forward slash mic check. Click test mic and then say this phrase, how is my microphone set up and placement. It will then tell you if your setup is correct and you can make adjustments accordingly. As you can see, I need to turn my gain down. I use a Blue Yeti microphone, which has a button to control the gain built into the microphone. Once you're all green, you're good to go. Just remember your position, how far you are away from the microphone, how loud you spoke and the settings on your mic. Once done, head over to Audacity, select the mic you want to use. Again, mine is the Blue Yeti. Hit the red record button and record for five seconds before speaking to capture any background noise. We'll use this later on to remove the background noise. Then record your voiceover and press stop. Now we will optimize the voiceover. So highlight the first five seconds with no speech, click effect, then noise reduction, then click get noise profile. Now highlight the entire audio. I use control A to select all. Now we will apply the noise reduction to the entire recording. So click effect, then repeat noise reduction, and it will apply the reduction. You may not notice it, but it will have worked. While the entire audio is selected, click on effect, filter curve, manage, factory presets, then low roll off for speech. Again, you might not see a visible change. The next setting, you will see a big change. Click on effect, then loudness normalization. Make sure it's on RMS to minus 20, then click OK. You can see the audio waves just got bigger. You can also see a bit of clipping here where the red line is. So we need to add a limiter to reduce the gain so the audio limit does not exceed the threshold. Again, make sure the entire voice track is selected then click on effect and limiter. You can keep these settings, then click OK, and you will see the audio shrink slightly. You could also do a click removal if you hear some mouse clicks, but otherwise save the project and export as a WAV file. You can then import the WAV file to any video editor. If you don't want to go through the hassle or use your own voice, then you could use an AI text-to-speech generator. As I mentioned earlier, the best one I've come across is Eleven Labs. Paste in your text, choose a voice, and click play. Welcome back, champions. Today, we're going to dive into some powerful motivational insights and strategies that will help you overcome obstacles and bounce back stronger than ever. I have to say, it sounds pretty good. They do have a free plan where you get 10,000 characters a month for personal use. Once you're monetized, you will need a paid plan with a commercial license. 
$5 a month is all it takes and it's actually quite affordable. Now we have a voiceover. My method two for creating video is to use veed.io. This is an online video editor where you can make videos for free with a watermark. You'll need a paid plan to remove the watermark. I like Veed because it has very good transcription capabilities. Once signed in, create a new project and I'll start with a blank canvas. I'm going to upload my voiceover that I recorded in Audacity, but you could use your AI voice that you got from Eleven Labs. Once that's tidied up, I'm going to click on subtitles and select auto transcribe. This is going to generate subtitles for me at the time I say it. No need to adjust the text to match the voiceover. You can change the styles by clicking the styles button here and choosing a subtitle effect. Now we want to add some stock footage to create the visuals for the video. Because this is a motivational video, I can add some aerial nature videos or cityscapes and build out my entire video using stock footage. If you have a paid account, you can also add some audio from their music selection. Alternatively, you could use music from YouTube's audio library, which is a safe option. You won't get a copyright strike for this. Now it's just a matter of making your video using your creative skills, adding stock footage that complements your voiceover. Another good thing about Veed is that you can resize your video to repost on YouTube's shorts or TikTok or Instagram. Just click on settings in the top right hand corner and then the drop down will allow you to choose a platform with its relevant size. As you can see, the subtitles also get resized, which is very handy. If you don't want to use your own voice, here is an example of a video I made using Eleven Labs and Veed. In a world that thrives on conformity, standing tall amidst adversity and criticism can be an uphill battle. But remember, it's during these moments of uncertainty that true strength is forged. Critics will doubt your abilities and question your worth. As you can see, this is the type of video you can make with Veed. You can import videos from Pixabay or Pexels, and these are free stock footage websites. Once you are finished, just click done in the top right hand corner, and then you'll be able to export the video. You will need to set up a Veed account if you want to download the MP4, but you can do that with a free account. Then just head over to YouTube and upload your video. In order to get millions of views on YouTube, we first need a clickable thumbnail. The thumbnail is arguably the most important part of the video and luckily these motivation videos have simple yet enticing thumbnails that we can create in Canva. So head over to Canva and open a thumbnail sized page. First I'll make the background dark, then for this video I'll need to find a close up picture of someone overcoming adversity. I have Canva Pro so I have access to the premium photos they offer. This one looks good, I'll resize it so it fits the full page. Now I'll also use the Pro feature to remove the background, although you could find a free background removal website on the internet. Now I need to add some text so I'll choose a header and change the font and sizing. Try not to include too much text on the thumbnail and make it inspirational. I like this one because it has the word you in it. Most people are only interested in themselves, so by including the word you, it will appeal directly to their inner desires. In this case, the desire to be counted. So on my thumbnail, I've got the text, never let them count you out. Then I'll add the channel name. You can play around with the sizing. You can add different effects to the background like smoke or fire, and you can also play around with the effects to make it stand out. Once you are happy, download it and publish on YouTube. You could also hire a thumbnail artist on Fiverr if you wish. I'm just showing you the quick and cheap way if you are starting out. Now you have the skills to do it yourself. Check out this video if you want to learn how to bulk create YouTube shorts using Canva and save lots of time.